My name is Lisa Byerly, and I am a victim of CPS atrocities. I had my two youngest children taken from me out of four children I have. I had raised my 18-year-old boy, Tim, and my next child, Peter, 15 years old. And I have a seven-year-old, had a 17-year-old seven juvenile diabetic who was taken for immediate need of medical care. And they said that I was not taking care of him properly. These people from the state government did not know me. They didn't know anything about my family, my children. I had a two-year-old little girl, blonde-haired, blue-eyed little girl named Lee. She was taken. Jordan was taken. The day that Jordan was taken was the worst day of my life. September 28th of 2000, my life changed. I never liked politics, never wanted to have anything to do with politics when I was a little girl. And then all of a sudden I was thrust into CPS, government, people, state actors, kidnapping children and having these beautiful, precious people that we love taken away from us. How can our government do that? How can we let them do that? Then what, what has happened to our nation? <laughs> Back in the days of uh, Ma and Pie Ingalls, do you ever see kids being taken away from their parents? No. no. What has happened to our, our nation? We have to stand up. We have to be angry about this. That's right. Angry, angry, angry. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. CPS is kidnapping our children. Absolute kidnapping and they have immunity for doing this. It's like a pass. Here, go ahead and take my child. And we're allowing this to happen. Well, you know what, folks? It's time to stand up and say no more. Not we don't right. want this. We don't want your no governmental more. interference in our lives. This is corruption, folks. Th there is a price tag on our children's heads. This, this is it right here. It is all about the money, people. There is a price tag on our children's heads every time the state takes a child. That's money that goes to the state. Title IV funds, federal funding, federal funding here in this state. Okay? This is what's happening. People, we all ought to be afraid. I am. People coming in and stealing our children. We have to be afraid of this. Okay? My two children, Jordan was taken for immediate need of medical care. They said my son was sick. When the Child Protective Services CPS caseworker came and took my child, he was running around playing with his friends. This is what's happening, folks. False allegations against good, fit parents. That's False right. allegations, people. That's right. And what's False. happening is we're being raped in the court system. Yes. Yes. Family yes, courts, are. juvenile yes. justice courts. We are getting raped, yes, people. We, are. we need to do something about it. Let's stand up and do something, okay? All right. Jordan was seven years old. He's 14 years old now. I haven't seen him in Aww. six years. I haven't seen my baby girl who was taken for sibling at risk. At risk for what? I had never, ever, ever had my son go into insulin shock with his juvenile diabetes ever in my care. He went into custody and he was going into the hospital every other day for insulin shock. We have to be afraid, people. We need to do something about this, okay? We need to tell our congressmen. We need to take, tell our state legislators. I've gone up to the Utah State Capitol and helped pass bills for parents and children. This is what I do. This is what's happened to me. I'm getting into the political aspect of all of this. Good for you. But what's happening here is we need to do something. We need to help pass laws. We need to stand up. We have to have Congress have these people, these state actors who are committing crimes. Yeah. Kidnapping is a crime, people. Yes, it it's is a crime. a crime. And they need to be held accountable for this. That's and right. I have not seen one person in our state, in the state of Utah, or be held accountable, not once, in what's happening here. Judges taking our kids away from us and letting this happen and, and just raping us with 